Hi everybody! I want to show you a great feature of Adobe Illustrator. This feature has been around for decades, probably since day one of Adobe Illustrator, which I believe was back in the 1990s. So, this involves rotating a shape around a center point, and you have the perfect even amount of space between each shape. It's a very simple feature of the Rotate tool, and it's a very powerful feature of the Rotate tool. So let's get started! Okay, so here we are in Illustrator. I've just opened the software and I want to create a new file. I will do that by clicking Create New over here on the left. Alrighty, so I'm choosing a width of 5 inches and a height of 5 inches just because I want a perfect square to work in. Um, you can always, always change that. Type in the numbers here, 10. Again, I'm choosing 5. And I have the inches chosen here. If you don't see inches, you can just hit this drop-down menu right here. I think the default in my software, depending on how, how you have your preferences set, is that it's on point, but I like inches. And then you just hit Create. So I have a 5x5 five five page here in front of me, or artboard. And I want to show my rulers because I want to draw some guidelines and work directly off the center point of the guidelines. So in order to see my rulers, I go to the View menu, and I scroll down to Rulers, and just run my mouse right over here to show rulers. A uh, shortcut is Control-R if you're on a PC, which I am. I'm running Windows 10. On the Mac, that would be Command-R. And you see how the rulers pop up? I just want to scroll down to exactly two and a half inches because that is the center point of my page and get myself a guideline there. And for the left one over here, I'm going to drag out. I'm holding my mouse key down while I'm dragging. Right there, perfect center point. Now I'm going to choose my ellipse tool so I can draw a center circle in order to rotate my shapes around. So I'm putting my mouse right on the center of the guides that I just drew on the crosshairs there. And I'm holding down my Alt key. That would be option if you're on a Mac. And that Alt key, watch when I press the button. You see how my mouse cursor changed? That tells me that it's going to draw this circle directly out from the center point. And I'm also going to hold down my Shift key so that I do get a perfectly round circle. So now I'm holding Alt and Shift at the same time, and I'm just dragging from the center here. Right there. By default, I have a stroke around this. So I'm just going to go down here where I can choose my stroke, bring that to the center, and right here I can remove that stroke. And then I can click my fill box right here, which brings that to the front, which allows me to choose a fill color, and this pops up automatically when you click that fill color box. I'm going to choose something in the light green category, maybe not as bright. Right there, perfect. Now, I still have my ellipse tool selected, and I want to draw the petals of the flowers. So I'm going to go over here to the center, and if I were to hold down my Alt key, you see I would go from the center directly here, but I just want to show you what happens. I'm holding Command-Z and getting rid of that. I just want to show you what happens if I don't hold down my Alt key, and that's going to draw over a little bit. You see how it didn't knock it off the center point? It just went over to the left right from where I originated my pointer when I was pressing down on the screen with my mouse button. And either way is fine, because I'll just do it this way so I can show you how to move it back into place. I use my move tool here up in the top left, and because I had snap to point on, bam, it goes right, snaps right in the center. Wonderful. So, now the center point is aligned up along my guide. I want to choose a color for maybe a light pink this time, something a little, a little lighter. There, perfect. I like light colors. Alrighty, so now the fun begins. We get to rotate this around the circle. We're going to rotate the shape around the center point of this circle. So now we're going to go over to our rotate tool, select that, and while holding down the Alt key, I'm going to click the crosshairs right here in the center of the circle that I want to rotate around. So this is defining the point that I want to rotate around. And holding the Alt key also opens up this dialog box here. So it did two things. 
it's selected a, a point that I want to rotate this shape around perfectly and it also opened this dialog box. So now what I want to do is go to the angle section right here and I'm going to form a calculation and we have a perfect circle that we want to rotate around and the circle is 360 degrees so I'm going to type in 360 and I'm going to divide that by the number of shapes that I want in my rotations. Uh, sometimes you have to guess at the number. In this case, I am going to choose 10 and see how that works. So 360 divided by 10, and I'm going to press the copy button. And that gave me one extra shape. Now I want to rotate all the way around this circle. So I'm going to press on my keyboard the control key, command if you're on a Mac, and while that control key is pressed, I'm going to press down, or tap, I should say, the D key. So it's control D, and I'm going to keep tapping that D key until I have as many shapes as I want around the circle. I'm still holding the control, but I'm tapping the D key. And that's perfect. Now I have the perfect amount of shape, a perfect amount of space between each shape. And yes, 10 worked for me. And just kind of, you know, just experiment with different numbers of shapes. If you wanted more petals, you would actually choose more shapes. Maybe divide it by 20 if you know you want one perfectly between each of these shapes. But that is it. Anyway, so here we have a perfect circle of shapes around a center point and I have what could be the beginnings of a flower. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching and if you find this helpful please go ahead and hit subscribe below.